Welcome back to the chaos that is my brain. You have to suffer with it, and so does Shala. Yep. I don't see him complaining very much, though. I'm Pixel Cheesecake, by the way. And I'm still Shala. And we weren't temporarily confused this time. Yep. High five! A foot to the head. Yep. At least you didn't jump up 20 feet in the air to try and do that. Yeah. That'd be a high jump kick, and you might land the wrong way. Either a, lo a long loading screen or a soft lock. Ooh, look, a blank screen. Okay, we know the sound works. Yep. We have to look at the most horrifying things ourselves. I kind of stepped back from a lot of social media. Mm -hmm. I found myself healthier, but... mentally a lot more out of it because I used to lean on social media a lot. Mm. It's a uh, social media is really like what you make of it. It's like a sewer. What you put into it is what you get out of it. Yeah. I'm glad I can break bad habits but Finding healthy alternatives is not always easy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the best way to get rid of an addiction, or at least for most people, is to find a new addiction. Like I said, find an el a healthier alternative. I've been, I found my weights while cleaning my room, so, because I was cleaning. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try and do that a lot more. Like, a lot more. Beef up these, uh, these noodles. Yep. And actually do some toning on my core, which I should have done, like, years ago. Because at, like, the age of 19, I started growing a gut. I'm probably going to have a dad bod by 30. Okay. And I'm three years off from that. Unless I start now. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think a dad bod could be a subjective term. Well, if your dad's a bodybuilder, then wouldn't that be your dad's bod? Dad in the general sense. If D A D S apostrophe instead of D A D in quotations. Or what if you want to have a daddy's bod? Welcome to the world of me not thinking straight. We're going to try and play... Neon White, if it ever happens. Doesn't Neon make green, though? What? Neon Gas Electrified makes... Hold on. Okay, Google. Neon light colors. Can't you basically do, like, all the colors with neon lights? Like, I, I know that neon is, like, specifically a gas, but, like, the... They call... Because, like, the, the light tubes have that gas inside of them. Yes, it's the noble gases, and I'm trying to remember what... Noble gas colors. So Krypton makes white, Neon makes orange, Argon makes purple, Zedon makes blue, and Helium makes purple. Fun Pokemon fact for the day. Okay. A fully grown Gyarados will run away from a school form risk will fly away from a school form wishy washy. Mm -hmm. Wishy washy's the little fish yeah. that if it has it has a glowing scale, it can bring a bunch of other fish around it to make a big fish. What that one scene from Finding Nemo? Yes. I was born from an egg. I grew up a magic car. I jumped over a mountain to evolve into a Gyarados. Not to deal with this shit. Yeah. I'm out. Screw everything. Yeah. So that's where Dragon Rage comes from. recently uh, learned something that because uh, there's uh, five five games coming out in this month that I've had my eye on which is uh, One Piece Odyssey the re-releases of Persona 3 Portable and Persona 4 Golden onto consoles the Disguise 7 and the Dead Space 1 remake 
and I recently found out that Death Space 1 Remake isn't even coming to PS4. Oof. Oh, man. Wait, PS4? Yep. It's going to the PS5. What if I told you I could get my hands on Kingdom Hearts 3 for PS4? Ow, my titty. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> the all-in-one kingdom pack. The story so far... Ow. That's why I'd say. <laughs> Brand new? Uh, I've had it for a while. I... But as you can see, I've... Uh... We're called neons. Sinners plucked from hell to do God's dirty work. Finding it hard to believe we're in heaven. Ah. Okay, long enough. Old friends, ex lovers. Only one of us can stay in heaven, and I've got a score to settle. Why isn't this an anime? I need it in my life. Right now. Oh. Yeah, let's start with the game first. But, uh, anyway, as I was going to say, you, as you can see, I've uh, cracked open the first one, but not the second one. Because I played uh, a bit of uh, Kingdom Hearts 1, but then just kind of fell off. That's something we could do live. I know a couple people who might be interested in it. Yeah. Uh, I feel like there's certain games that are would be best safe for uh, live streams. Like, I'd love to do Steel Soul mode live. Mm -hmm. You man the chat, I focus on not dying. Because once you die in Steel Soul mode, that's all she wrote. Should have known it was going to end this way. God's sixth sense of humor or something. People like me don't get second chances. But if I did, I swear I'd do it right. <laughs> and I feel like uh, Breath of the Wild is one of those uh, live stream games because I feel anything that's like so open world that would be just easier to just have we started here I swear we ended I was here. just in the middle of something yeah yep because otherwise there will just be a lot of episodes of us just wandering the overworld and, you know, dying and doing shrines. Yeah, the first, the first, the first one is, get off my great plateau. Yep. Where the, the second stream, where the, do we go next? Yeah. Uh, you pretty much can just pick a direction and start your your journey. Name name the next four after whatever divine beast we wind up doing. Yeah. And the hunt for Red October. I mean Korox. Yeah. So, uh, which direction did you no, start off in? 
I went to input after using robot bombs to beat the skull knocks at the bottom of the one thing. It took a good 30 minutes, but I did it. Yeah. I got the 90 durability shield. Nice. Neons rejoice, for you've arrived in glorious heaven! What? We are the believers, agents of God. And you, dead mortals, are what we refer to as neons, sinners, that God has judged most unfavorably. Wait, am I meant to be in hell? But fret not, for we have granted you an opportunity for salvation in our annual competition, the Ten Days of Judgment. Better than the Twelve Days of Christmas. <laughs> I'm sorry, I saw an opportunity and I took it. Slow, bow, slow ball down the middle and you gotta take that swing. During these ten days, you neons will use your villainous talents to annihilate the demons invading our holy land. <laughs> so, sinners killing demons. This is for real. Yep. Hey, guess what? You died and God thinks you suck. Go kill some crap? You will each receive a soul card containing a weapon befitting your past. Whoa, badass. The most competent demon slayer will receive the ultimate reward, God's forgiveness, and uh, your very a, own place in heaven. A task. So, you see this? Yeah. Can you try to get that off? Oh, the sticker. Wait, that's not a sticker. It is. That's it's like a like camera screen like screen protector. It feels like it bonded to my phone because I can't get it forgot off. Wait a minute. I know what this is. It's plastic. Yeah. The same type of stuff that's meant the touch screen on your phone. It's supposed to make it easier to clean. Now, the, this part was not, was not originally a part of the phone I put that on. So, you put screen protector onto the thing and it bonded in a way that you didn't like. Yeah. Well, it got, like, cracked at the top. So, I was going to replace it, but now I can't get it off. That. Want to continue on the Let's Play? I'll see what I can do. Yeah. But first, some housekeeping. Forget, you are here in heaven as guests. These masks contain an explosive that we won't hesitate to detonate if you step out of line. Please refrain from removing them, unless of course you prefer to go out in flames. <laughs> Yeesh, guess lowly sinners shouldn't expect red carpet treatment. But heaven kind of seems like a racket. And yet, forgiveness is strangely compelling to me. Who exactly did I used to be? Now then, go forth, catch your boat at the glass port, and kill every demon you find. We'll be counting. All right, demons, soul cards, no sweat. Memories might be hazy, but I don't need a tutorial on how to kick ass. They are gonna do a tutorial, right? So. 
shame I didn't bring the sticker sticker removing card. The scenery looks just too damn beautiful. Yeah. And this is all marble and whatnot. Yep. I do not remember the controls at all. At least there is some fall damage. Or at least not at that point. At least not in the tutorial level. Imagine that, just your game over because you jump from too high a place. Oh, I see. You're racing the other souls. And also my past self. Insight from the tutorial level. Yep. Oh. You did not. This is all like the speedrunners like kind of dream game. Ah, uh, gotcha. It's all going over the same levels and doing them faster and faster. Ah, a cat with a halo. Yeah. Jump and fire through or something. Uh, yeah, I accidentally went to the next level. That's fine. difficulties on our end because videos take a lot of space we're using lossless compression instead of lossy compression because we're professionals or at least trying to be 
Underpaid professionals. Oh, it's me. Yo. Wow, YouTube doesn't even give us a cent. It has been a minute, I stress man. the word underpaid there. Yes. <laughs> this guy. Even with a mask on, I recognize him from earlier. I can tell I know him. Just vaguely. Holy crap, you got the freaking anime sword? I thought for sure you'd get one of those little guns like the, uh, what's it called, like gnomes use? Uh, gnomes? Ah, <laughs> just messing, just messing. I know you're a badass. So why the hell does an idiot like this seem to remember me perfectly? You okay, man? No, actually. I, uh, seem to be missing my memories. The more badass oh, yeah. they are, the more memories they can't work. Can't keep. Yeah. That's my uh, interpretation. Man. We rode together for years, bro. Got up to some crazy stuff. You were my sass game, man. The darkness to my light. You know I saved your life once. I took a bullet for you, dude. Really? Nah, I'm just messing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Seriously, dude, we should team up. Just like old times. Then I could save you for real from those, like, demon freaks or something. Yeah, um, appreciate the offer, but no thanks. I work alone. I could be like, pow! You could be like, because the sword, you know? Uh, sure. Good meeting. Don't think! Feel, bro! Dude, I want to play Michelangelo, as long as the animation's good. Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Be like, okay. No offense to Rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but uh -huh. yeah. So discarding abilities gives you a double jump. Uh, so ones. So like the the purple one, it like shot out like a bomb. So that would okay. Be. Let's keep it going. Nice. So uh, my uh, self improved and. Uh, my self uh, imposed uh, rule will be that I won't play all the levels over and over again trying to get the platinum stream while we're recording. The platinum play more times while yeah. we're recording. I'll do all that, you know, off screen. Playing the previous levels off screen to get stronger. I can do that in the other game where we've been live streaming. Sorry we haven't recorded or anything in a while. Uh, I've, uh, I've been uh, shirking my uh, editor duties while, while I was uh, on time off. You deserve the time off, man. Don't worry about it. What is the coolest gift collectible you found in this game? Uh, I think I like uh, the one that lets, lets me uh, talk to Scarlet because it lets me talk to Scarlet. So that. Let me guess, Scarlet's a redhead. Yep. How did I get how did I know? She was the uh, one that found red saw in the opening cutscene. Yep. Didn't even break a sweat. 
And it's right on the goal. Rank up. If you uh, get all the platinum times, you'll you'll always be like ten levels higher than the needed level to proceed in the game. Yep. So in the first level, you could have just jumped on all the balloons' heads. In the first level with the demons, uh, the the first time you see the group of balloon demons, you could have just jumped on their heads. Yeah. Is that? The alt girl I saw from earlier? Alt girl? Uh, hey, mind letting go of my shirt? <laughs> there was this huge demon chasing after me! <sighs> Looks like I lost it. You'd protect me if it came back though, right? Sorry, I got a boat to catch. You're on your own, kid. <sighs> you know how I feel about being called kid, what? I actually don't remember. Amnesia? A side effect of dying, it seems. Uh, seriously? You're not alone. I've lost some memories, too. Like, uh, I can't even remember how to use a gun! Which makes this whole situation extra scary. Won't you at least show me how? Please, please, please! I don't know. I should probably get going- You wouldn't really abandon a cute girl like me, would you? I know you don't remember. But you were once a great teacher, <laughs> Mr. That would Black. probably be something, <laughs> a way to make this game higher rated. Yeah. You wouldn't leave someone alone with this gorgeous rack, would you? I... I was? Well, okay, fine. I can spare a second, I guess. You want to bend your knees a bit. Arms extended. Not locked. <sighs> is this good? Mm. Yeah. You see where her butt is. Yep. Yeah. You should use both hands and fill any open spaces on the grip with your fingers. Oh, I'm 5'11. There's something I... kind of accelerating about this, huh, Mr. White? I think. Hard metal in my me, neon, whatever her name is. <laughs> Purple, I presume. Violet. On the back of my neck. Mm. I think white and violent are the same height difference that me and my boyfriend are, so he's gonna get some ideas out of this one. Yeah. Uh, anyway, you'll learn faster by doing <laughs> Like this? Uh, holy crap. You sure you forgot? It's like you said, I am a great teacher. Uh... It's Violet. Don't go forgetting this time. Alright, Violent. Race into the ship! My little Violet buggy girl. Yep. Shoot. I better get moving. Which Naruto character would you call a side character to their face? Um. Which one? Uh, that one blonde girl who has the fame. Oh, yeah. She carries that giant ass steel fan. I don't remember her name. Basically, just Sakura's friend. I tell her Sakura is more useful than her. And watch me get smacked upside the head with a steel fan. Ah, 
So does it need to be against a wall then, or? Yeah. Basically any hard surface we do. <laughs> I'm sorry. So at the edge of the thing. Yep. Perfect. One gun wielder has gets to protect you from two other gun wielders. Which three are you choosing and which position? So one against two? Yeah. And uh, pick John Wick to protect me. And then his opponents are Don Knox from Shaky's Scum in the West. And, uh, go down that way. Um, At least give him a bit of a challenge. I choose James Bond to defend me against Serafina. And neon violet. Why are they standing out in the open like that? It's very easy to dunk on positions. Because we're basically, we're basically, uh, or a shooting gallery. Damn, I missed someone. Ace is, Ace is my man. Got a, two levels for that one. And I assume this is some sort of boss. Uh, not this one, but there are bosses in the game. I just see the end of the line and I think... You know what this game reminds me of? What? It's the cleanest game on the internet, so you're going to laugh at the title. Okay. Can you guess what it is? Uh, it's the Poppin' Pussy Parade. Some similar, but not exactly. Okay. It's called Drunken Robot Pornography. Okay. A bartender fucks up by giving his robot janitor sentience. Uh -huh. hmm. That's Scarlet, by the way. Sentience and it infects the whole world, but we would destroy all 
world's robots with a destroy all human mentality. So he ha he's tasked with fixing the situation with a suit that named Suit. Hello, my name's Suit. Let's work together. You can build your own evil robot to try your metal against. Test your metal against. Uh, this is getting too easy. We should play that. Yeah, sounds fun. Behind you. Uh -oh. Neon red. Whoa. Demon Zero Red 100. Long time no see, White. I'm, I'm pretty sure she's uh, voiced by the same voice actress that this voiced uh, Mitsuo from uh, Persona 3. Yes. You're staring. Looks like it. Yeah. Quick, say something cool, White. That is a massive rifle. <laughs> Want a taste? Uh, that's okay. Seriously, please don't point that thing. Relax. I just like to see you sweat. In that case, you should watch me wipe the floor with demons sometime. Meh. I'll pass. I've seen a lifetime of that kind of thing. You know, this is actually the first time I've seen you here. In the competition, I mean. Makes me wonder. Do you think this will end for us the way it did in life? See, I'd love to answer that, but I woke up with no memories of life. <laughs> Not that I don't recognize you. It's just the details are fuzzy. So far, though, I feel the strongest connection to you. <clears throat> Damn it, White. Why would you say something so lame to a girl? How bizarre. I've never heard of a neon with such an affliction. You're not messing with me, are you? I have no reason to lie to you. Is that so? I can't believe God himself decided to bless me with the thing I love most. A completely clueless boy. <laughs> this isn't fun for me, you know. Well, it is for me. We could have been lovers in life, and you'd be none the wiser. Were we? Lovers? I could know every last one of your... measurements. Be serious here. I've got a long boat ride ahead. Maybe you could fill me in on the details of my character? Or even your relationship to me? <laughs> I don't know, White. Honestly, it's probably easier this way. For both of us. What? Hey! Wait! Where are you going? All aboard the ship to Central Heaven! The stragglers will be returned to oblivion. Yes, don't think I made it this far last time. This really is my first rodeo. Not half bad. Is that what Red meant? That it's easier for me to focus on demon slaying without memories of past transgressions weighing me down? If that were really true, then why is it that the fire that propels me to win feels a whole lot like guilt. Heaven straight up confirmed I'm messed up. That's why I'm a neon, isn't it? Yellow, violet, and red. They're the same. Sinners. Know me more than I know myself. Looks like demons aren't the only things I gotta watch out for. Yep. Not bad for a dead guy, huh? Mission complete. Oh, ha, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to do the Star Fox thing. Yeah. Heaven is exactly what I expected. I don't know why I'm so disappointed. Oh, what? Wanna walk to the Believer's Sermon together? Yo, bro, you made it! <laughs> 
kick a lot of demon ass. <laughs> like it was nothing. I'm telling you, bro. With our, like, combined powers, those demons are donezo. Right! We're gonna be late! Oh, snap! Violet! Is that you? This is crazy! <laughs> it's like the gang's all here! Kinda! I'm sorry. Do I know you? Are we all mutuals here? Yeah, man! Violet was our crew's littlest badass. She's also a mad freak. Like this one time I read a diary, and she had written this crazy fanfic about her and the block. Shut the hell! Ow! 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 Violet! Cut it out! Let's see how much you like talking without a tongue, bastard! Uncle! 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 They may be freaks, but... They're my freaks. Supposedly. Supposedly. Some people call this like to Central Heaven. It is an honor for your better than anything I could write. Beauty. Anyone's criticizing anyone else's writing? Let's see you do better. You are here as demon exterminators, and demon exterminators alone. Their population always spirals out of control this time of year. It's onerous work, but the possibility of redemption is well worth the effort. So, do the believers get to keep their weapons so they don't have to keep doing this whole tournament? Or do they drop the weapons to be believers? Or... How's that Hello, supposed to work? Like to introduce the last year's winner of the ten no, days the, of uh, the believers are like we don't like you don't like rank up to a believer. Defending his crown is the vicious, hulking neon green. <laughs> oh look, it's that boss that What's Yellow mentioned. Guy? His presence is so intense. Why does it feel like he's staring directly at me? Why do I feel so angry? Green's demon slaying prowess has been unrivaled for Did years. Did I hit the nail on the head? There exists a neon among I you all who can compete. Damn my ability to recognize writing tropes. <laughs> I hit the hit nail on the head. With that, church is dismissed. Make your way to Central Heaven Authority and get your orders from the angels there. Yeah, so the. The thing about the story is that if you, that the one who is ranked number one gets to stay in heaven and then all the, ne all the other neons get kicked out until next year. Four hours. Why? 
No one else is here. <laughs> There's got to be somebody I can speak with sooner. I'll look into that for you. After my legally mandated break. When will that be? About four hours. All right. This is ridiculous. I'm going in. Hey, I'm working here. That's the, uh, the I can't even really see it. That's cute lovable mascot for you. I'm not waiting for like Agumon or Pikachu or Jibanyan. Or Prince. Do you like your new toy? Yep. I've been affectionately calling it the Black Beauty. Shiny new. Yep. Straight off the printer. I can't really scale them up anymore with my current printer. Which means I want to buy a bigger printer. Isn't that just the, the name of the hobby? Wanting all the biggest and shiniest toys you can get your hands on? Not necessarily. I like my printer because it can do the small stuff perfectly. Like, I made a wrench with a chain on either end. A chain, a chain with a wrench on either end. Someone actually uses it to do their work. Competing neons. Does that mean green gets to stay? Yeah. Because he's ranked number one. Aren't they going to run out of colors eventually? And there's tons of uh, color words you can use. Sounds easy enough. Spots like you always say that and then don't even make it back to my office. I mean, it's like yellow, gold, daffodil. Fair enough. Oh, like the like the Power Rangers. Yep. Yeah. I kind of got. That. I think each Power Ranger existing has a hex code based on it where it would teleport into on the morphing grid. Yeah. Right. Actually. Yeah. Why are you a cat? There's tons of. Uh, yeah, they tend to be the yeah, other basic colors. I was actually wondering the same thing. Why are you a hilarious cartoon cat? Exactly. Thanks, Red. Glad we're on the same page. You neons are all the same. Always telling me what moronic imagery your pea brains invented in an effort to comprehend us angels. Oh, you're a cat. You're a horse. You're a sexy statue of liberty. How about a hey, Mikey? How's your day, Mikey? You must work so hard, Mikey. Uh, excuse me. I'm here for my appointment. Hey, White. Isn't it freaking crazy that John Cena is here in heaven giving us missions? <laughs> That's it. Everybody out. Don't come back till you finish your missions. And Gabby, can you please... Keep these neons under control! Of course, you can obviously tell who's a voice actor that is. Yep. Oh my god, that would be hilarious. An anime, but it's actually John Cena voicing Mikey. I know social faux pas for a celebrity wrestler to take take place in that, but just have him grafted onto that one scene and have it as the point of view of Yellow walking in. Yeah. Stay away from him. Alright, everybody. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Mind elaborating on that? He's dangerous. Need I say more? I can use some convincing. I suppose I could open up more in exchange for a favor. Wait, really? I mean, yeah, whatever you want. I'm on it. Keep your pants on, White. 
I need some time to decide what I even want first. When will that be? Like, after this mission? Uh. I, I assumed I assumed he's he got that he got flustered the way I was getting flustered in that one episode where I was just losing my shit at the nickname in the prequel to Killer Seven. Uh you mean big dick? It's Pina Colada Day at the pool. So Heavens, pina coladas are to die for. <laughs> we'll see about that. Oh, no, you won't. Neons like you are simply not allowed here. I really a sinner partaking in heaven's delights? <laughs> Heresy. That's bull. If I gotta do you bastards dirty work, the least you can do is serve me a drink. Stay back, Neon, or I'll have you blown to bits. Arr. Said you wanted a drink, right? I know a place. Follow me. Uh, uh, huh. why not? You see one talking cat? So... That's Mikey Space Click off here and this one's uh, Nova. Do you like it? Oh, it's not like the rest of heaven, that's for sure. I'm into it. <laughs> Thanks. I put it together myself. So, uh, who exactly are you? You can call me Rats. The bartender. And you are? White. Well, white. Good to meet you. Neighbors don't come around these parts anymore. So, it's the perfect place for Neon to take a load off and enjoy a drink in peace. <laughs> I like the sound of that. So what do you have? How about one of those pina coladas? On it. Here you go. What the? This is literally just water. Sorry. The believers are hogging all the real <laughs> How can you call this a bar if you don't serve any booze? See? You're thinking too narrow. A bar. One guy invited in another guy about his really, really bad day. What? <laughs> Renting folks in heaven has its benefits. You'd be surprised by what you can gain from chatting people up. And maybe giving up some hits. The believers wouldn't accept my pina colada patronage. I doubt they'd let me into their crappy gift shop. Well, no. But you can't find gifts all over heaven. Once you've taken care of your missions, you can do a second suite to hunt for presents. Sounds like a pain. But why? True friendship is it's always, always worth the effort. And hey, if you give me a gift, I might just put a squirt of lemon in your water. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's part of the uh, going back to get the best times is also yep. getting gifts to give to people. And of course, upgrade your rank. Yeah. You, I think you actually aced the race to the boat. Yeah. So. So. What? There you are. are Team up with me. me. <laughs> Jinx by.
happens to my pillow at the dog who keeps <laughs> scratching her ear, even though it, it won't get any better if she keeps doing that. Uh, did you... Did you put... Did you try putting socks on her feet? No. No. I was thinking of getting her a cone of shame. <laughs> I would say start off with socks, see if that helps. No, she'll probably do that, like, awkward walk that dogs do. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. When you said socks, I, my first thought was like, socks are her ears. <laughs> now I can't unthink that. Didn't even break a so Nice. What's your favorite series been out of all the ones we've played thus far? Uh, I think the uh, most fun to record is Killer7. Uh, I just love that game. So, a sniper rifle is just like a zoom forward? Yep. I'm sure if you have a really good thing, you can turn it into a short. Like a perfect run while grinding off camera. Yeah. It, and uh, once you get the insight, it will show you a little way to do the level faster. Got some of the uh, the shortcuts memorized. Yep. The same way I kind of have Hollow Knight memorized mm -hmm. because I picked it up.
because I was sick of like 60 plus dollar games and season passes were just coming out like screw triple A I'm gonna see what Indy has to offer and what Indy had to offer was what I believe to be amazing some people might not like it but everyone's al allowed to like different things yeah. Don't yuck somebody's yum. Basically. Right. So, there are some things uh, deserve to be made fun of. <laughs> Come on already. Put it with the jokes. If you uh, don't uh, shame some people, they'll be all weird out in public. Gotta bring sunshine. Yeah, yeah, you and your sunshine. Hey, remember how we used to crack open some cold ones after a tough day? Uh, no. Sorry, I don't. Sounds like it was chill, though. It was, man! We had some good times! I'd give my left nut to go back and do it all over again. Even all the weird stuff at the end. Blame you for any of it, you know. What the hell is that supposed to mean? What did I do? Dude, chill. It totally doesn't matter anymore. The vibes are immaculate. And I just want to kick ass with my bro while we got the extra time. Cool? Yeah. Cool. Oh my god, dude. Remember when you messed up the toilet after you ate that chili? That was insane! Yo, hold up! I didn't even get to the best part! Here's a loaded question. What do you think is the most embarrassing fandom to be a part of? Hmm. Yeah. The anti-furry fandom, and like anti-fandoms, just because a fandom gets so prolific, doesn't mean you have to hate on it. Yeah. It's kind of cringy that people think, oh, I definitely have to hate on this because my favorite fandom got kicked in the cadiddle hopper by... Nice. One down. Yep. Yeah, if, uh, if liking a thing makes for a poor, a poor personality, then hating a thing makes for an even less one. Yep. I met, I remember when bronies were ponifying everything. Mm -hmm. Like some people hated it. So they were deponifying it. That was an interesting time. That that sounds just kind of weird. Like, would the deponified thing just be the original version? Done it. Done in the stolen art style of the bonafide thing. Yeah. So, get him to the Greek was bonafide mm -hmm. in an anime art style. It was deponified, so it was like the most generic anime characters, yeah. like background character level, and it was bad. 
like you had to try to piss people off. You had to be trying to piss people off and I guess they were succeeding? I... That sounds like a real... you're winning some. Yeah. I'm surprised that anybody cared about the... about the movie get him to the Greek to ponify it in the first place. Everyone was trying to ponify everything. Hell, I even got my hat in the ring with it. Like, I ponified Pikmin. Like, the... Pikmin are adorable, and I thought the cutie marks would be wonderful. Mm -hmm. That sh Those images are probably lost to time. Mm -hmm. Except for the plushies I have. But yeah, that's that's a thing. But, eh. We're ranking up fast. Nicely done. Yeah. Uh, after this one, let's uh, make dinner. Sounds good. It's nice hanging out with you again. I know I've been not the most vocal or hanging out in terms of people. No, I'm not, uh, I'm not exactly the most social one myself. So, when the demon grabs you, does it pull off your mask and blow itself up along with you? Um, well these ones like, do like a string of like, bullet hell uh, bullets. So I was basically just shooting me. Ah, they... Okay, one... One was mm -hmm. enough. One, uh, just one, uh... One dash was enough there at the end. Yeah. There's a one... Uh, ah! I did get him, but I just didn't think I did. So, it's like, what did we do, but clearly I've already broken up. You got game. this. Damn. 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 Oh, he's in focus mode. Shell is in focus mode. Uh, one thing I really like about this game is the, uh, the sound effects the cards make when they pop. Damn it! It just sounds so good, it's like a nice or ASMR click. Yeah. one behind there's one on the bottom left front left corner once you land on the platform uh, on the final platform with the four demons Ah, you're right. Good spot. And you got Ace out of it. Yeah. 
a big reason why it's fun to game with others. Yeah. More eyes to view the problem. Yep. Not the cute blonde you expected to hang out with today, huh? Every Persona fan be like... Neon White, Jack Skellington, or Beetlejuice. You get to choose one to defend you, but the other two are trying to kill you. They have 24 hours to try and kill you. Welcome back, Neon. And if they can't, you get the all the capabilities and powers associated with each character. Uh, neon White. Because he has the power of God and anime on his side. I was going. I would have said Beetlejuice, mm -hmm. but that's just me. Yeah. I, I would have uh, picked. I would have uh, picked you for uh, Jack Skeleton fan because of the Jack Skeletons. Ri writing Shakespearean, reciting Shakespearean quotation, and the only way to die is if you're. Every single bone of yours is crushed to dust. Yeah, that crushed and ground to dust. Yeah, that's a pretty cool power, but but surviving you have to die in order to you. have that happen. So uh, please direct your attention to Green's mechanical yeah. halo, a mechanism well, that apparently according to the game, game. To he fights like heaven. Dante. As it stands, not a single Neon has come close to overtaking Green's score. He's defended his position at the top for many years now, and I, I don't imagine he intends to give it up now. Not when he's made such a comfortable home for himself here in Paradise. Isn't that right, Green? Wait, are you saying that even if we win, we don't get to stay in heaven forever? Oh, goodness, no. God's mercy has limits and an expiration date. Seriously? That's such a ripple. If you prefer the flames of hell for eternity to a year of heavenly delights, then be my guest. As for the rest of you, do better. Staring at me again. Cheer up, White. 
I'll win that Halo for us. And then I'll give you a turn with it next year. Gee, thanks, Yellow. <laughs> Yeah, kind of speeding through this because uh, dinner's going to take a while. Nine days till the judgment. Anything you want to check in on before we end the video? I think we'll check out on our uh, friends once we have all the gifts to give them. All right. But uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching another episode of Gaming with Shala. Be sure to like, comment, and share on this video because YouTube's algorithms are wonky as anything and I need to check back on all my favorite YouTubers daily to make sure I'm still subscribed to them. Yeah. Uh, here's a question for the comments. Do you want uh, Mommy Red or Daddy Green? <laughs> Remember- oh, anguish. It's back. The, remember kids, bisexual, bisexuality is many things, including the inability to choose between two absolute yes choices. Bye for now. Bye bye. Laters. Peace.